Hi and welcome to another Light Bite. Today we're going to be looking at the Nikon SB800, which is a Nikon flash. I'm going to be taking you through the basic functionality of this flash and also how to put it into the remote mode. This works with the Nikon Creative Lighting System um, to wirelessly trigger the, uh, the flash remotely. Okay, let's take a look at the buttons. First of all, you have the on and off button. Switch it on. You have the ready light, which appears down the bottom right. We have the flash or the test fire. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. We have the mode button, which switches um, from manual to repeat to automatic, TTL, etc. Then we have the center paddle here. We have a minus and a plus for going up and down in the range of figures. We also have a uh, zoom in and zoom out, as you can see there. Okay, it's only going to go up, down to 14 and up to 17 at the moment because I do have the diffuser down, put the diffuser up, and as you can see, that should now go the entire range. There you go. Okay. On the top left, we have the repeat function. I wonder if you can see that. That's basically a strobing effect to use as a modeling light. Okay. To enter the menu, simply hold and keep pressing for about two to three seconds the SEL or the select button, which is in the center. So I'll press down, hold that, and that brings up the menu. So starting from the top left, we have the ISO setting. This is 100. This will change depending on the uh, the camera function that you have, and should change automatically. If we go down, we have the standby function. At the moment, it's set to 80 seconds or one minute and 20 seconds. To uh, to alter this, simply press the select button yet again. Turn to the sub menu, the up and down arrows to choose which one you want, and then press select again to get uh, back onto the standby function. We have the zoom on and off manually. We have the LED light on the actual flash, which we can turn off and on. We have the autofocus assist, etc. Then we have the flash fire on and off. The LCD brightness. We can change between meters and feet. I've currently got it to set to feet. We can select between the two automatic modes. And we've got um, what appears to be a squiggly line in and a squiggly line out and two flashes flashing. This is the setting that you need if you want to use the creative lighting system. At the moment I've got it set to off, which means this is just a standard flash. To enter the sub menu, press the select button. This highlights the off. With, then we've got master. This is used as a SU800 substitute, which means you can use this flash to uh, trigger the other flashes as a commander mode. You have the master repeat. Very seldom used, I must admit. We have the remote function. This is what sets this flash to a remote. And then we have a SU4 function. The SU4 acts as an optical slave rather than a wireless infrared slave. So if you had a flash that wasn't uh, CLS compatible, you could use that on top of your camera, put this into your S4 and make this fire via that uh, other flash. For the most part, you will be using it in remote or the master. To select it as remote, simple, press the SEL button here, and that puts it in. To exit any of the menus, just press the on and off button very briefly, and it puts you back. You can now see on this display, it does say remote, and you have the little squiggly line again to tell you that you are in remote mode. Okay, the only thing you need to do now is alter the channel and the group. Okay, to do this, simply press the select button once. This highlights the channel. Move uh, up and down to choose your channel. Press the select button once again. This highlights the group, same thing. Up or down to pick the group. And then press the select button and you're ready to go. Okay, the other functions uh, are um, the zoom which can be set automatically when you do put this onto a camera. Generally the camera does select the zoom position for you, uh, unless it's in manual of course. 
and the settings for the power of the flash such as full power, half power, quarter power etc uh, are used in the commander mode in the camera or the commander mode on a speed light dedicated as a cam as a excuse me as a master okay that's basically it of course to take it out of the mode and put it back into the normal speed flash just simply press and hold until you get the menu press on the sub menu press the off by selection and then the on and off and there you go it's now back into manual mode hope this has helped please check out my other videos on the sb900 the sb600 and various other nikon products including the uh, the one about the commander mode built into some of the cameras that nikon have thank you for watching this sb800 video cast please check out the other video casts in this live bike series feel free to subscribe and i'll see you next time thank you